Hmm. Well... It's one of a kind. Say one more word and there's no deal. I'm leaving in four hours and I don't have time to waste. Shit. What a piece of shit. Anyway, Mrs. Yesterday... I'm not a Mrs. And yesterday is not my last name. Oh, as if I cared. The pictures didn't lie. Neither did the certificate. It's a magnificent sculpture. Now let's talk about the price. Your whoever that was was very clear. He asked for 400,000 euros. More than what it's worth. 100,000 euros, that's my offer. And not a cent more of your continental currency. I don't care what whoever said. 600,000 euros or no deal? 500,000 euros. Sold. You'll find a check for 500,000 euros in this envelope. And don't give me that look. I've been haggling for years. I'll send my men to pick up the piece this afternoon. I gave a card to your... whoever that was. I'll activate it to show the phone number if he needs to call. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Mrs... whoever. We should meet some day when I'm back in Paris. We have so much in common. Are you sure this is where we're supposed to meet? Sure, Choke. Do you want me to phone her? Hi, Boris. Ah, you see? Happy birthday, Mole. Hi, John. Hey, take a look at this. Maybe you've seen this symbol in the catacombs? Hmm, I think I have. It's pretty far in one of the sections tourists never see. Cool. Can you take us there? Sure, once we've clarified something. Boris said it wouldn't be cheap. Two thousand. If the catacops catch us, you better pay my fine or else you'll face the consequences. If it's too expensive for you, good luck finding someone who knows the tunnels like I do. Plus, who knows climbing and who doesn't give a damn about the law. All right. Let's hurry. It's at the end of that gallery. I'll stand guard here. If the catacops come, I'll lure them away while you escape down this tunnel. If you need me, point here with this. matter prop yeah maybe are you getting used to that light sure why do you ask now I'm afraid it'll go out but luckily I have the lighter that you gave me at Cadway That headlight will not burn out easily. How do you know that? You're so close to the wall that you're just lighting a tiny space. That saves a lot of energy. Come on, Joke. I'm not taking stupid pills, you know. Oops, sorry. You're sure the light won't go out? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I believe you. 
I don't remember giving you a lighter in Cadway. How typical. You found it brand new and gave it to me, saying it was the light of truth. I'm keeping it like a golden treasure. Can you lend me the lighter? Okay. But if you lose it, don't blame me for lending it to you. Open the fence, but to progress any further, we'd have to walk over a broken walkway and a well. Maybe you could pass a rope through the rings, then I could cross safer. I lit the well. It's about 15 meters deep. What's the matter? Problem? Well, it seems you're on the right path. Let's go. There you go. Hey, don't die, okay?
Dear Deacon Yago, if you are reading this, my suspicions were right. You transmuted. And if you've managed to get here, then the order of Yago is not as safe as it needs to be. Now it's your turn to protect the treaty of the flesh. I think of you as a demon redeemed for the divine cause, like a new St. Paul, and I congratulate myself on having caused that redemption. You not only saved me, but also gave a new meaning to my existence. I pray that I'm now giving a new meaning to yours. May God be with you, my friend Yago. Fergus Quinlan, Rome, October the 27th, 1558. Come on, the catacombs are about to come. Let's move, Boris. That's what you were looking for? Yes. Ah! Hi, dear. Amanda? You? I lost track of you in New York, but thanks to your friend Cell, I was able to track you down. Now, you'll let us tie you up, you'll get on the boat, and if you try anything, he dies. Is that okay? My good Falcon. No. You... You can't be. Hines died at St. Fergus 500 years ago. The Inquisition killed him and burned down the church with his body in it. I'm afraid you're mistaken. A coin was enough to transmute two people. You are immortal. After making you drink and stabbing you, Ursus gave me the other half of the potion, just seconds before the Inquisition barged in. When they set the church on fire, I thought I'd suffocate in my hiding place. I quickly poured mercury in the potion and drank it, but didn't die. I didn't dare leave the church until two nights later. I looked for you among the burnt bodies, but how was I going to recognize you? How could I be sure that the potion had worked? It worked. I'm still alive, and so are you. But you know the best part? 500 years later, I still hate you. You used me and turned me into a murderer. And not only did you kill me in the end, you condemned me to a life of perpetual oblivion. Why did you come back, Hines? To torture me? Torture you? With that? 
Not at all. Quite the opposite. I'm back because I hate myself more than you'll ever hate me. I beg you to claim revenge for everything I did to you. I want you to kill me. I want to die once and for all. For good and only you can help me, my son. Versus! I told you nothing would happen. Please, follow me outside. Take the wine set and blow out the candles. Our host will arrive at dusk. In the meantime, will you think about my request? Please. Huh? Where's the other guy? Poor Ronald. Goodbye, my dear gardener. You had wonderful green fingers. He cried blood when he started reading it. Just like you said he would. Hi, honey. Mr. Yesterday! Amanda, go find the madman. He has to be here somewhere. Lenny, you bring up Gines' alchemy table. And get this shit out of here. Well, well, well. Why the long face? So I suppose you're hunting down immortals all over the world? Now that you mention it, I feel honored. 100% of the world's immortal population is in my house this very instant. But don't get me wrong. Your old friend is here of his own accord. What did you do to Boris? What did we do? What did you do? Lenny just told me he disappeared. Don't try to fool me. Where is he? Gines, is there anything you didn't tell me about Vulcan? Does he have any powers we might not know of? I hope not, little Vic. Little Vic? Don't act surprised, Mr. Yesterday. I've known Father Gines for a long time, ever since I found him in that nursing home. Can't stand children crying. Get out of here. Is that because you can't stand to see children suffer? Let's just say that I was good at ending their suffering back in the day. So are you going to help me? Satan, take me now. You won't leave until I ask you what happened, will you? They told me my granddad's here, but I can't find him. I entered the first nursing home I found. I guess it never occurred to me that there could be more than one, nor that my grandfather was in the most expensive one in London. I ran away from home because I haven't seen my granddad in six months. Ah, well, I didn't even get to meet mine. He's been dead for 600 years. My granddad is sick. There's a little man in his head that steals his words. Oh. That's a shame. You can't live without words. A lady at the door told me to wait here. We'll wait. And let's hope we don't have to wait too long. Sir? My name is Victoria Baxter, but my friends call me Vic. I haven't had a name for a long time. Or friends, for that matter. But you can call me Hines. There's something I don't understand. If your granddad died that long ago, you must be really, really old. I mean, my nan was 87, and everyone said she died of old age. Oh, and who says I haven't died? I... I don't think I understand. Listen here, little girl. If I tell you the truth, will you do me a favor? Of course, Mr. Gines. I was your grandmother's age the first time I died, but... Years before, I had taken a very special potion. 
They told me it gave you the power to come back to life at the same exact age as when you died for the first time. But what if that wasn't true? The only way to find out was to kill myself, but I couldn't do that. And didn't you have any friends who could help you? I had two good friends, Ursus and Falcon. They were like my children. Ursus died in a fire. As for Vulcan, uh, I lost his track. I spent decades searching for him, because only he could confirm if the powers of the potion were real. You could have looked up that potion in an encyclopedia. <laughs> uh, there weren't any encyclopedias back then. Although, there was a book that mentioned the potion. I never found it again. Doctors know about these things. Did you ever ask them? I couldn't ask anyone. I'd done uh, uh, bad things. I was a fugitive. I searched for decades in vain until I died of old age, as old as I am now. Every few weeks I die and I come back to life. And I can't walk. I can't even wipe my own shit. You're not allowed to say shit. They just opened up my throat so I could talk. I haven't been able to say a single word for 60 years. I'll say shit all I want. And you should do the same. Sh shit. See? It's easy. Shit. Nice. Don't let anyone ever take away your right to say what you want. Words should never be hidden. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> I like you, Vic. But I think you should calm down. You know a lot about death. Will my granddad live? I don't know, Vic. I do know that if he dies, he won't come back like me. But... If I could change places with him, I'd do so gladly. You're a good man, Mr. Hines. Now it's my turn. You owe me a favor. Yes, whatever you want. Could you place your hand on mine? What's going to happen to you? No one should die alone. Stay with me for a little while. And don't stop talking. <sighs> Just pretend that I'm sleep. Don't let them see that I'm... He died right there in front of me, and I stood there for nearly half an hour holding his hand and begging him to come back. And he did. It was true! Hello, little Vic. You're so lucky! I'm not so sure. I'll die again in a few weeks, but I might not be as lucky as I was today. It might take me a lot longer to come back. They'll certify my death. They'll bury me. I'll die and come back. Die and come back. Die and come back inside my grave until there's no room left in the cemetery. Then they'll empty the graves, burn the remains, and I'll die and come back again, and I'll drag myself until someone finds me and takes me to a public nursing home. But I won't find you there. You'll have died of old age. Luckily, that didn't happen. It took me 40 years. But I found you at last. And together we found your beloved Vulcan, the treaty, and also, surprise, we even found a judgment coin. The time has come. I ask you, for all the hate you feel towards me, Please, read the treaty in search of the potion that reverts immortality. Please, kill me. You don't deserve the compassion you seek. You've destroyed too many lives. It's far more than you ever showed for Fergus, or Alonzo, or me, and so many others. And yet you had compassion for yourself. You weren't capable of ending your own life. That's how you wanted it, and that's how it shall be. Vulcan, please. Listen, don't waste any more of my time. None of that shit is going to happen. 
we're going to mix up a new transmutation potion. But I'm the one who's going to do the drinking. You only need one coin to make enough potion for two. One for you and one for me. No, I can't trust you. What if you trick me? Or if something goes wrong? I need to make sure it works before I drink it. But as you can imagine, I have to test it on someone who has never been transmuted. Let's see if Lenny finds the madman. You'll have an immortal friend. What else could you ask for? Miss Baxter, the madman is nowhere to be found. But I did find this. Pauline! Oh! Forget the madman. Here's an even better offer. Wouldn't you just love an immortal girlfriend? I'll come back, John. It takes Rines a while to come back. What about her? I'm... I'm alive! And you don't know how happy that makes me. Amanda, keep an eye on them. I promise that when we find another coin, you'll be... Shit. 